Hey there, hey collective. Welcome to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. So this has to do with someone, someone's ex. So there's a masculine you were dating. And when you decided to leave this masculine, this person went haywire. You wouldn't have been able to tell because this masculine remained calm around you. But when you were not around, this person was coming up with a devious plan. This person is part of some type of organization. And I use the term organization very lightly. I mean, quote, covent, okay? This person went and told these people that you were into dark arts, dark work. You were into dark magic. You were uh, sending spells to people. You were uh, a night war worker. You were into additions and stuff. You know what I mean? The uh, um, extra recreational activities. This person spun a lot of lies about you, okay? This person told so many lies, they cannot even remember the lies they told, so they don't even know how to cover up the lies that they told on you. Someone went out of their way to tarnish your character, and this is all because of jealousy. This is someone that is upset that you got away from them. This is the truth being revealed about this person working with other people. This person could be part of like one um, coven, but went and got other covens involved in invading your privacy. These people were watching you up close and personal and you may not have even known. There could have been cameras in your home, there was something about a maintenance guy. If you live in an apartment building, there was a maintenance guy that partook in this and he himself is experiencing some type of ending. Um, this person got some type of curse put on him due to him participating in these activities, this low vibrational activity. And this is out of this man's character. This is not someone that will usually do this. But because he chose to participate in this, he's experiencing some type of ending. Um, there are quite a few group of people watching you or were watching you. Something was put to an end though, okay? They were watching you. These people got so entitled to you. You could have been working with some of these people. Of course, you were living with this masculine at some point or you were just dating him and you two were around each other quite a lot. But these people became very entitled to watching you. There were some people, a couple of people in this group that knew that what was happening was wrong, but they kept going with this. They're no longer able to monitor you. You could have changed something up or this organization decided to shut this operation down. This was an illegal investigation that was done on you. Your privacy was violated, okay? This could end up in some type of legalities, defamation, slander. There is some type of legal action that's going to come out of this. Someone is going to get locked up. Someone is going to prison because of defamation, because of slander, because of lies, because your privacy was invaded. There were family members involved in this. There were friends involved in this. People you consider to be families were involved in this. This is like you, someone having a group of people having access to your phone so they can see your bank account activities, your social media activities, anything you're doing on your phone. They could see it live, okay? If this is what was happening and you didn't know, maybe you had some type of intuitive knowledge that something was going on. I know quite a few a uh, while ago, maybe like some months ago, I was laying on my couch in like early hours mornings. I had this uh, vision of someone remotely viewing another person in their home. Okay. So I was laying on my couch and in between the walk state and sleep state, I had a vision of someone remotely viewing another person so there are like tiny cameras in your walls and you cannot see them okay if you see like holes by your uh, um uh, um fire thing you smoke detectors cover them up if you can see any like little holes in your walls cover them up you are either still you are either being monitor or you were being monitored with a world card out here this is letting me know that they're no longer monitoring you because something has been illuminated the truth has been illuminated about you 
someone told a lot of lies on you to a group of people and they believed it and they all went out of their way to invade your privacy. This masculine did this because of jealousy. This is someone that was pissed off because you decided to leave them. So he figured if he had people messing with you, playing mental games with you, invading your privacy, if he messed your finances up, you would end up needing him and would have to reach out to him. This is why he did that, to feel needed, to feel wanted. This is not someone that loves you. This is just someone that has some type of sick obsession with you. This is someone that is mentally and emotionally imbalanced. This is someone that's part of an institution, COVID, code, whatever, that does, apparently does not stand for this and has been pretending to be one way for many years, but the truth about his character is being exposed. This is someone who is an illusionist, okay? This is an illusionist. This is someone that has gone far and beyond to paint a picture that just could not stick because what he said about you is just not the truth. This person wanted you to be homeless. This person wanted you to not have any type of genuine love in your life. This person wanted you living in fear. This person did not want you having access to any resources, money, or anything like that. This person wanted you to feel mentally unstable, dealing with anxiety. Someone went out of their way to cause a lot of illusions. This person even had people, you know, like if you're driving on the highway and people just come and cut you off. There are coats out here that do things like this. And you didn't do anything to deserve this. You're showing up as a queen of cups, which means you're someone extremely genuine, love and compassionate, intuitive, down to earth. This person did this because you took charge of your life. You decided to leave and you stuck to your guns. You left this person and never looked back and it pissed them off. This is someone that was waiting for you to reach back out to them to say that you missed them or you couldn't make it on your own or something like that, but it never went that way. This is someone that's dealing with some type of mental illness and they've been hiding this for many, many years. This is someone with poor moral judgment, but has been masking himself to be something else for many, many years. This masculine feels entitled to you. He sees you like an inanimate object, like a tool. This person betrayed you in ways you cannot imagine. This person told people you were loose when you've probably been abstinent. I had an ex do this to me, telling people that I was loose. Meanwhile, I have been, I, I've been like a, a celibate for like a, a years. I don't fool around like that. I've never been someone that fools around like this. I've had someone do this to me. But this is what this masculine was out here doing. Telling people you were loose. May have told people you were pregnant. Just spreading gossip, lies. There is some type of plan as well to come in and cause you some type of heartache, to cause you a tower, to cause you an ending. There is a big revelation that has been made known about you. You may have said something. There may be an email, a voicemail, a text message, a DM going around that has revealed the truth about how hard this person was working to tarnish your character. And it baffles me that all of these people, even though they were around you, a lot of them never could fix their mouth to ask you a question, but they were willing to go along with this scenario, with this invasion of privacy. There's going to be a court case that comes out of this. These people are fighting amongst themselves because the truth has been revealed. The truth has been revealed about your character. We have the two of wands out here. Someone is pissed off because you're holding back from them. 
they thought they're going out of their way to tarnish your name, cause you losses and things like that will make you reach out to them. Someone you trusted as well, besides this masculine, is involved. She thought you was going to be reaching out to her to explain things to her, but you're not because you know the truth. These people are being told to sit down. There are endings coming for each and every person involved in here. There is a lawsuit coming up. Someone is going to, this masculine, your ex, is going to jail. Someone is going to be locked up for a very long time. A very, very long time. Okay. These people had a tower planned for you. They're the ones experiencing the chaos. They're the ones experiencing the chaos. Someone cannot sleep at night. Someone is mentally tormented about the things they did, the illusions that they caused. He's in remorse now because the truth about you has been revealed. He sees you for who you are now. And it's not even that this masculine didn't see you for who you were before. Someone is just malicious. He is just malicious. He thought he was going to get some type of payout from all of the things he did. And even if he would have, that would have sealed his fit even more. Someone did all of this for money as well. Money. This is what people would do for money, for the love of money. There is also a queen of cups in this situation that is extremely envious of you. You have some type of spiritual gifts, some type of talent, some type of business, some type of creative skills that she likes. And has been stealing from you this person at some point had the audacity to pr pretend like you stole from her and she was going to cause going to uh, do some type of lawsuit against you to make it seem that you had stolen from her but this is because they were accessing your phone and when you were creating your content she will be downloading your content uploading it on a platform and then acting like it was hers there was some type of content, some type of creation you were making, but you stopped making it. She cannot further her career off of it because she doesn't know the vision. She doesn't understand where you are taking that. You are in something that you don't even know is bigger than yourself. This is way bigger than you realize. There could be like a whole city against you and you don't even know it but you're protected. This is part of the reason why it started with the sun card. So the universe is letting, letting you know there is nothing these people plan or do that's going to lead to an ending for you. You are going to be A-OK. -okay. As many enemies you have, you have the entire universe backing you up. With the universe on your side, what can anyone do to you? These people have some rude awakenings coming in. Someone was supposed to come in and pretend to be your soul twin, your twin flame. It was going to be an illusion. They were going to come in just to trick you, pretend like they were in love with you and things like that just to betray you. To seal it in even more. To break your heart even more. Let you know that there is no one you can trust. There is no such thing as true love. No one genuinely cares about you. Th this is the reality they wanted you to believe. That there is no love. There's only betrayal. It's every man for himself. But that is not your heart. You're a queen of cups. You would never be that. Something happened to these people that made them feel like it's okay to reside comfortably in this lower vibrational state. It didn't happen to you. And even if you had hard experiences in life, you didn't let those experiences break you. These people have allowed their experiences, their traumas, break them. So they think it's okay to do these types of things to people. I guarantee you someone is going to be on the news. For this, there's going to be an occultist on the news for this. Someone is going to prison. 
okay? Someone is going to prison. This collaboration is done. These people are afraid to keep going because the truth has been revealed. Things are being looked at. There is a masculine energy in here that's looking at the truth, seeing the truth for what it is. Someone may be wanting to come in to speak the truth to you, give to you, because they know you are genuine. You are the truth. You are authentic. So they know someone lied on you. This chapter is over for you, okay? You no longer have to wonder if people are invading your privacy. You don't have to live in fear anymore. You don't have to live in anxiety anymore. I learned how to get over anxiety a long time ago because it was not serving me. Once people know you have some type of uh, uh, flaw, they start taking advantage of it. So I learned real quick how to let go of my anxiety in 2023. I said, I said no more. I will not live in fear of anything or anyone. I will not live in fear of the future. That's it. And gradually, I did just that. I got over it. I will not be anyone's victim. I refuse to be anyone's victim. It's the same for you. Ad adopt, adopt that mentality. Refuse to be anyone's victim because you're not. Someone is mad because you were self-sufficient. You could take care of yourself. You didn't need a masculine to buy you anything. You know there are women out here that feel like they have to have a masculine in your life. You're not someone lonely. You don't need a masculine around you to feel validated, to feel good enough. You have your ancestors around you, the universe. You are on a planet with a billion other people. You can never be alone. You are loved. But because these types of people don't understand that, they think there is something they can take away from you when it comes to love and acceptance. They can't. You live on a planet with a billion other people, with billions of other people. There's the universe. How can you feel lonely? Loneliness is selective. It's self-imposed. If you're around a group of people and you don't relate to them, get away from them. Go find some new friends. If you're an introvert, and learn how to enjoy your time even more alone. That's what I do. I'm an extreme chronic introvert. I rarely ever like being around people. I'm kind to people, but I don't go looking for them to spend time with them. I don't call people my friends until I've known you long enough. You can call me your friend all you want. But until I decide that you are a friend, you are an acquaintance to me. So I, I, don't, I don't live in loneliness. I have no longing to be around people because I understand what it means to be self-reliant. I despise having to rely on other people. I have nothing against it. I have absolutely nothing against it. But it's not my first option. People like this don't understand that. They have to move in groups to feel validated. They have to have someone around them all the time to feel good enough, to feel validated. Okay? Sad. There's a masculine in here. Someone that's too old to be partaking in things like this that was working over time to sit you down. Over time. And it makes no sense because these are people that are old enough to be your parents, your grandparents, great-grandparents in some circumstances. And they are out here doing things like this. It's like, don't you see how weird that is that you're taking your time out of your day, right? To stalk someone online, to violate someone's privacy, to see what's going on in another person's life. Why do you care? They have some type of sick obsession with you, like I said. It's sickening. And the universe is sitting them down. There is nothing these people do that's going to lead to an ending. 
while you may feel like you have a lot of enemies out here, you also have friends in secret places. So the minute someone tries to come towards you to cause you harm, there is someone there to look out for you. That is how the universe has it set up for you because you're someone with a pure heart. There could be two masculines in here planning some type of attack. It's not going down like they think it is. It's not going down. These two masculines have some type of obsession with you. It's extreme. I thought this group was obsessed with you, but these two masculines, different, different kind of obsession. Someone wants to be able to reach out and just, like they're, they're longing, they desire to reach out and touch you, even with just a finger. That's how obsessed these people are with you. Make it make sense to be this obsessed with another person. And this is because some of these people are into magic. And they may know that some of you are not from this planet. So these are humans going up against indigo children, star seas, earth angels. In your right mind, how can you as a human go up against someone like that? Obviously, if they're not from here, that means the universe is watching them 24-7 to make sure that they're safe. So that means anything you do is being recorded immediately on these people. Immediate karma. Three times full, 10 times full, because these are people that are literally volunteering their time to come to this planet to help you all ascend because you're struggling with the very thing you're trying to do to this person. Evil, wickedness. It's not making sense. It's not making sense, I tell you. It's not making sense. Someone wants to come in and pick a fight with you. They want to pretend like they're telling their truth. It's not freaking truth. It's someone coming in to pick a fight with you. Watch them. Don't let anyone in your circle. Don't let anyone you near you. Don't let any of these people near you. Okay? My goodness. Yeah. Someone someone has a plan. They have a plan to come in. They're going back and forth. They don't know if they like you, if they don't like you. They, should they harm you? Should they not harm you? What the heck? Don't you think something is wrong with your mental? You sit around pondering this all day if you should do something to someone or not do it. Go get some help. Someone here has some type of illusion that they were going to cause you homelessness mental illness, all to a queen of cups. But they're the ones experiencing it. They're fighting amongst themselves. They want to bring their problems to you. It's not yours. You didn't do anything to these people. You didn't do anything to these people. When all of this is said and done, you will be having a financial payout because you didn't deserve none of this. Some of these people are going to be going to prison, unemployment, illnesses, because this is the karma that follows with this type of activities. That ex of yours, Lord have mercy. This person does not know what they got themselves into. Someone is about to be excommunicated from a group that they've been, been a part of for a long time. This person could have even been having you investigated for all of the whole time you were around them and you didn't even know. This person could have been telling this organization that you were this, you were that. You could have had like secret cameras in your home watching you, recording you when you took a shower, when you went to bed, when you ate. Just everything just invading your privacy possibly even uploading it to illegal websites explicit websites for people to watch you it's sad it is extremely sad they thought they were going to come in to cause you an ending but they're the ones experiencing it and that is how it was always meant to be I can see, like, if you're someone out here causing mayhem, 
but you you're coming out here as a queen of cups you're loving you're kind you're caring compassionate and you you have the audacity to show up as a queen of wands as well oh my gosh you're someone extremely down to earth mentally balanced caring nurturing motherly hard working intuitive so is it that this masculine was intimidated by you, jealous of you or something? Because that's what I'm getting. It's not making sense. Because I don't see anything in here that you did to cause this masculine to go to, go to this extent. It's like this is someone that came into your life just to personally cause you mayhem. And he has done this before and succeeded. And he was expecting to succeed with you, but he did not because you have a calling on your on your life. You're not from this planet, probably. And it pissed him off that you got away. That's why he went to this extent. You got away from a narcissist. So he he uh, uh, went all out. He called war on you, basically. It's not adding up. All of this because someone decided to be, to, to separate from you. But it makes no sense. You are the truth. There's the inspiring news that's coming in for you. Someone is going to be exposing the truth to you about what has been going on, but you already know. If you're watching this message, this uh this reading you already know this has to do with a decision right a decision has been made to cut all of this nonsense out i swear some of us we are built different because things that come to us like easily common sense other people struggle with it i'm trying to rationalize me sitting and watching someone else go on about their life i cannot i cannot i cannot find any logic within that this is someone that went to your past people old friends or lovers to have them be a part of this nonsense make it make sense and a lot of them agree to partake in this foolishness and a lot of them accumulated karma. And a lot of them got curses put on their bloodlines. And they don't realize that people make choices and they don't realize there are consequences, repercussions for the choices you make. It's not just you. It's your bloodline, your lineage that's going to be paying for everything you are doing. They don't think about that. This is why sometimes people go and do stuff to light workers. All of a sudden, a child, child is gone, mom is gone, dad is gone, their favorite pet is gone, they lose their job, end up in a car accident or something. Karma. It's karma. Losing finances. And I bet you a lot of these people right now are experiencing this. Experiencing karma. Financial losses. Someone in here owns a business. This business is about to go through bankruptcy because they participated in this nonsense. This is like someone, their business is going well. This idiot, your ex or someone from one of these organizations approaches him and he decides to participate. And now his business is about to go down the drain because people didn't have common sense. They, they wanted to feel like they were on the edge. Oh, we're doing something naughty. Yeah, you're stealing your own fit, you dummies. And these are people that say they're religious. Religious people. They believe in God. Like, which God do you believe in? Because the one I know does not move like this. Does not cause sign foolishness like this. Since when does God cause sign BS like this? Never. Absolutely never. It's, it's not adding up. It is not adding up. 
the fact that this started out with a sun card just lets me know exactly who you are and then you show up as a queen of cups that lets me know they picked a fight with the wrong one you are innocent the queen of cups are not people that go around looking for fight these are people that avoid drama you bring drama to them they'll walk away from you they give you love you don't re reciprocate it they, they leave you alone right did i say clothing okay someone in here wants to come give you some type of ridiculous lord i'm so over these people i'm so over these people I am so over it. Someone here is lusting after you. That's what it is. It's lust. The fact that we have the lovers out here, followed by uh, uh, the higher fence, someone is lusting after you. They want to come and trap you in some type of union, marriage. Someone is, Lord have mercy. I'm so over this mess. <laughs> oh my gosh. This Knight of Cups, this is immature love offer. This is someone, just like I mentioned before, one minute they like you, the next minute they don't. They don't know if they want to, if they like you, if they don't, if they want to do harm to you, if they don't, shaky, shaky. This is not the kind of love offer you want. If this was a king of cups, then yeah. This is someone that wants to come and trap you in a union. He's part of this collaboration, this institution, this clothing, this coat. You don't want nothing to do with that. What in, my gosh. My goodness, it is so ridiculous. Like, when source is making us the source gives some of us different brains set up than the other people because this don't this doesn't add up it doesn't make sense you're some man you listen your character has been established here not only are you loving not only are you genuine divine you're someone extremely hardworking and committed to what you do you're authentic you're a queen of oh my gosh these people are annoying as heck extremely annoying i wouldn't be surprised if you are an empress energy Oh my gosh. We have the strength card on the bottom. Source is letting you know there's nothing for you to fear. Nothing is going to happen to you. You're going to be just a okay. You're being watched over by the universe. Your ancestors are around you at all times. I didn't expect this message to go this long, but apparently there's something to be seen and heard here. This stuff makes no sense. Someone is committed to coming towards you and causing some type of illusion. Do not date anyone from this this, uh, 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 this organization. If someone comes towards you and their energy is shaky, let them go. Do not force anything to work. I don't care for Knight of Cups energies as far as love. We can be friends, but we're listening, heartbreak. Someone is committed to coming in and causing you a heartbreak. And I said something about the Empress energy, didn't I? There you go. You're showing up as the Empress here as well. So you are all four queens in the deck. You're going to be receiving some type of financial payout. Some type of money from someone. It could be an institution that's going to be giving you some money hush your mouth about that do not share with anyone take that money and move on with your life 
Someone wants to come in and cause you heartbreak. Someone is also heartbroken about you receiving a financial payout that's due to you. It's due to you. Because what these people did is so unreasonable. There is nowhere in the universe where you can go and this will be reasonable. It just makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. I am feeling to see the logic in here. This is like you going, you, you going up, you're going about your day every day. And there are people watching you everywhere you go and you don't realize if someone has like GPS on your car or something, you on the highway, people come and find you and they're cutting you up on the highway. And all you're doing is going about your day. People getting into your car, moving stuff around to let you know that they were there to cut, to make you feel uneasy. For what? It's the immaturity for me. It's the immaturity. It's like people showing up at your home unannounced. You don't know them. They're trying to enter your home. People being sent to torment you or something like that. Try to torment you. People being sent to unalive you because you just won't give up. And the universe is watching all of this go down. Some of us are blessed to have a mental state that is balanced. But because we're spiritual, we'll be the ones they label as weird, abnormal, mentally unstable, and things like that. But they can go and do things like this. I'm telling you, be mindful of who you let around you. Someone still wants to come in and cause you some type of loss. Someone wants to come in and steal from you. Someone wants to, there's some type of financial payout you're supposed to receive and someone wants to come in and steal that from you. So just be mindful. There could be a plan to break into your home as well for some of you. To do something to you, to do you something. It's not going to come into fruition. You're hearing this message just so that you are aware. It is a mess. This is what has been going on behind the scenes the entire time. If for a time, a time period in your life or for uh, lately you've been feeling like there's something going on, you just cannot get your finger on it. This is what has been going on. It's a bunch of karmic low vibrational people behind the scenes up to, up to karmic low vibrational activities. And nothing they plan is ever going to come into fruition against you because it was never planned. To, it was never intended to. By the grace of the Most High, you are covered. You are blessed. You are protected. You are loved. You are cherished. Continue to live your life in peace. Because if you've gotten this far to this point where you don't even know half of what these people have been doing, that should let you know how protected you are. This is part of why the sun car came out here first. You are someone that is always being watched over. So there's nothing anyone can do to end you. You are abundant. You are someone that's naturally abundant. You're spiritually abundant. So you like nothing. Everything you desire, simply ask the universe for it and it will grant it to you because your heart is pure. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.